What's up, daily watchers of my life? How are we doing today? Um, I'm almost to the studio. Got some good guests in. And I think you'll enjoy it if you listened last night, which you should have because that's what you do. You watch these videos and you listen to my radio show and you go to my website, jeremywomack.com and you sign up on my social network, lasvegasnightlifenetwork.com. Yeah. And then you go to my Daily Booth account, dailybooth.com slash jeremywomack because that's a site that's similar to Twitter but it's like picture based so it's not just words I take a picture upload it boom you see it so that link will be over here in the sidebar uh, over there uh, and that's dailybooth.com slash Jeremy Womack if you don't prefer the pictures you can always go to twitter.com slash Jeremy Womack so there you go bunch of social networking tools to find me and be a follower Anyways, almost to the studio now, and I will chime in. The The girl that you see, like yesterday's video and stuff, uh, that's Brittany Starr. She goes on before me. So maybe I'll take a picture with her and update it to my Daily Booth account. And uh, maybe shoot some video too. So that's what we do. Promote, 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 promote. Cool. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Some of the uh, besides the website, uh, are you are you able to mention some of the places in Las Vegas that people can pick up the suits? Um, right now, since we're kind of coming towards the end of the season, you know, we're we're pretty much, you know, there's. Okay. I'm more I'm more concerned with with next year and right. you know what my distribution is then because this this year's been a little bit screwy with the economy and yeah. some of my my best retailers that they were sold and disappeared and all sorts of stuff. With that in mind, did. Do you, I know how I handle it with my business. I don't, I don't change the price nor do I change the quality of what I give somebody. But as a, as a retailer and producer of clothes, do you, do you have to adjust yourself according to this economy that's not the best? As, as far as like my, my price points? Price points and things like that, yeah. Um, my, my position is, you know, I'm not going to, to change my price point. I'd rather sell lower volume and maintain the Quality. The quality of my right. brand and and the the exclusivity. Okay. You know. Awesome. Yeah. And if anything, I, I think that as I uh, as the brand gets in higher demand and I and I add more uh, interesting, you know, designs as far as the intricacy of it uh, and the and the hardware that I'm putting on some things that come out in 2010, the price actually is is going up. Oh. Know? Okay. So. I'll have a price point really between one sixty and three hundred dollars. Okay, so and, and that's I guess maybe pretty typical for a high quality swim, swimsuit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's pretty pretty much nowadays. If you're going to get a good bikini, it's going to be around the two hundred dollar range. Cool. Yeah. We're going to take a slight break. Okay. Actually, we're going to listen to some music by DJ Edgar Rana. That's him right over there. <laughs> All right. And um, mm -hmm. success that they brought us back again um, this year, and, and it's just growing and. We pull a great crowd every week. Um, all the, the girls at uh, Tao Beach, the waitresses, they wear syrup bikinis. Okay. And um, we do a we do a syrup fashion show with um, kind of an impromptu fashion show with all the, the, the tourist girls that come in town and, and so they go back to wherever they came from and get to tell people that, that they were chosen to, to um, be in a fashion show at Tao Beach and nice. we, we gift them a bikini for it. And it's a lot of great PR and a lot of good fun, and you can you can just see the energy raise when when the when the syrup girls come out in their yeah. bikinis. It's great. <laughs> I would imagine that just, <laughs> the, the volume just raises. But the cool thing about it too is that, like you said, they're wearing your bikinis, so mm -hmm. it's different than seeing it either on a mannequin or on your site, just in a picture. They're actually seeing it on someone's body and can assess if it would fit for them. As yeah, well. it was interesting the other day. We we do our outings at uh, at Tao on Thursday nights to to, to kind of hype up our, our Fridays. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to one of the bouncers that was the bouncer at the beach as well. 
and he, he said, it was a great compliment, he said, you know, when the girls come out in their syrup bikinis after they've changed from whatever they were wearing, he goes, for some reason they really do look a whole lot better. And he goes, I, I'm a bouncer, what do I know? But right. I know, and I'm like, I'm like, well, you know, that's, that's as good of a compliment as you can ask for. Right. You know? Well, if you have the bouncers hanging, <laughs> I mean, the bouncer sees tons of beautiful women all the time. I, I guess that's, that's true. Job, so he's definitely giving you a compliment there. I will agree. Yeah. <laughs> so you got uh, Good Fridays at Tal Beach. Right. You've got Label Junkie uh, at Lavo on Wednesdays. Wednesday nights. So, yeah. like, okay. so, like, if you reach underneath the scrotum. What about water bottle? Yeah, does the water bottle work? Yeah, the water bottle ain't helping. Oh, okay, there you go. See? So, say this is the penis, right? And here's the scrotum right here. I'm reaching underneath, so the, the scrotum is hanging here. This is the penis. And inside here, that's the groin area right there. That's where the one to two inches is buried. So, when you're the filleting the man up here, you're also massaging inside the groin right there. Okay. And any man can feel, just put his hands on either side of your penis and press gently in, into your groin, and you can feel those one to two inches that are trapped inside there. That's going to take patience, it's going to take determination, you have to be gentle with it. Right. You know, there's like jelking methods, which I do not think are healthy for guys at all. Okay. That, that's going to damage your tissue. But in this technique, all you're doing is loosening up those tendons, massaging that area, and engorging blood to that area so that it will pop out more. And if within a year, you should have one to two inches more of your penis. What is the reason why it's not already It's out? just because um, just because of the tension in the groin area. Okay. And if there's those tendons, just hold it in there. Hmm. So, I mean, most men are, there's some men that have it already out, and those are the men that have been sexually stimulating themselves since, you know, they found out they had a penis, sure. you know, and they've been playing with themselves that much. Sure. But in our society, our Puritan views here in America, a lot of guys are taught, don't play with don't masturbate as much. But I say, masturbate as often as you want better. Too. Yeah, well, exactly. Which reminds me of a funny story from a book signing. Would you like well, to hear? I would love to okay. hear this. <laughs> this is right when I first moved to Vegas. It was my first book signing here. It was at the Orleans. Okay. And I was like the opening act for Vicki Lawrence. Mm -hmm. So I had our book signing. It was mostly senior citizens in the audience. So the producer of the show came up to me beforehand and he said, Laura, a lot of grandmas and grandpas in the audience I want to make sure that you keep this G-rated. And I was like, oh, sure, I can do G-rated, no problem. So I do my little spiel, my little seminar, and then I'm taking questions and answers from the audience. And this little couple, they're like in their 80s, this little old lady stands up, her husband's beside her in a wheelchair, and he's got this oxygen tube on his nose, and he's just sitting there all depressed and sad. And she stands up and she says, yeah, Laura, um... My husband has a problem with floppy dick, and um, I just bought this, and I'm look, I look over at the producer like, what the hell? And he's like, just go ahead, whatever. He said the floodgates are open, just go. So she goes on, I mean, she wants to say the word dick like five times in one sentence. So I bought this dick pump, and I can't get his floppy dick hard enough to put in the pump to begin with, so what do I need to do? And I, just, I was just shaking my head and trying not to laugh, and I, I suggested that she throw that dick pump away, because that's going to damage your tissue, really, and especially an 80-year-old man, come on. So I suggested that she use her mouth to make his dick hard <laughs> before they could do it. And you should have seen this little old man. He sat up straight in his wheelchair, and he had the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> he's, and he's breathing harder. He goes through his whole bottle. Yeah, and then he had a heart attack. And right, that. he just spilled over. <laughs> no, but hopefully they went back to the hotel and we had a wonderful time. I, I, so. I'm, I'm going to say they probably did. I hope so. So yeah. do you do those types of things often in these uh, seminars? I did. You know, okay. I've... I, taken the last couple of years off and just, you know, enjoyed my family and I met a wonderful man and got married and now I'm pregnant again. Wow, what an awesome show, guys. We had Laura Moore, the author of Sex Heals, on our show and Aaron Foost, who is the uh, owner or co-owner of uh, Sierra Swimwear. Fun times, fun times. Look, he even got a kid. This is Edgar's book. He even got kissed on his book. Ah, look better, feel better, and have more energy by having sex. Many, many orgasms. That's what it looks like, folks. There you go. TheHealthySexyMom.com. Boom. Boom. And then go to Aaron Foo's site, SyrupSwimwear.com. Check out all their swimwear line and uh, go purchase one. You know, you need one. Summer's here and you need a new, new swimsuit. The one you have is all raggedy. So, an awesome show. Hopefully you were listening in because if you didn't, you missed out on a lot of good stuff. Uh, to listen in, www.xradio.biz.com. The link is in the sidebar. You know where it's at. Click on it. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday. The Jeremy Womack Show. And uh, you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out.